So within your early days of PAL world, you may notice a certain specific PAL in that world that gives off that distinctive sound, that chiming kind of sound. What this means is that particular mm. PAL is ultra rare, it's an ultra rare version of that specific PAL creature. But what are the benefits of these? Do you try and catch them? Do you try and take them down? Are they even worth your time? Well today guys I explain all you need to know about these, well this game's shining creatures. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also guys if you are a fan of Power World and you want to experience it with many other players uh, join my discord link down below. I have dedicated channels, chats for all things Power World. Again check it out down below. So as you play Power World you will randomly come across pals which emit a certain chime at the same time give off a glinting or glowing effect. We're going to call these the shining pals, you know like shining pokemon, these are shining pals. These pals are normally twice as big as they should be in their normal form. They also have hidden benefits and offer so much more which we will get into. So what are these benefits? Well firstly guys, to catch these things you need to lower their health and then throw a sphere at them. If you do catch them, you are rewarded something called the Ancient Civilization Parts. These may not be guaranteed every time, but the ones I've caught so far have always had one of these drop for me. So firstly, what are these rare parts? Well guys, these are used to craft some of the best items in the game. So going into your technology tab within your main menu, on the right hand side you will notice there's a purple section. These are those ancient technology items which are meaningfully made extra hard to unlock. But when you do unlock these you will notice that they require you to craft them. Now to unlock this guys you need to have ancient technology points. You can get these upon defeating powerful enemies. These consist of will bosses and those trainer bosses too. And to craft these guys, you need these specific ancient civilization parts. So for sure, these are really, really useful and very, very important. Now, what you will also notice upon catching one of these chiming pals, that when you inspect them via your party tab, you will notice that they have an icon next to their name. They also seemingly come with much, much better and powerful attacks compared to what they would normally come with if it was a standard pal of this variant. So not only after you taming them do they offer you vital materials are very important to your playthrough, they also act as a buff version of said pal. So what happens if you just take this charming shining pal out without catching them? What happens if you just kill them on the spot? Well, to be honest guys, I tried this for video recording purposes and upon me taking one of these shining pals out, it said that it rewarded me two of the ancient civilization parts. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure it did. Another thing I will say about these materials is, as rare as they are, it will seemingly mine were disappearing over time. Now there's no mention within the description of this item that this is a thing it does. So I don't know if it's a bug or I'm missing something here. I had a total of five, I mean I had them in my safe, in my chest, back in my base and every time I go back there after an hour or so, it seemingly one was disappearing. So keep that in mind guys, once you get these, if you need to use them, go ahead and use them. Either or guys, I definitely think catching these pals, these shining pals, or just taking them out is definitely the right thing to do if you can. Now in regards to their spawns, I do think they are completely random. I've created more than one character and played a lot on all of them to test things out and I can say I never saw the same shining pal in the same place twice so they must be random as well as ultra rare. Now throughout all my characters I've probably seen four of these in total which is crazy to think. Now the ones I have seen were all relatively on my level, I think one spawned in a couple levels higher but it wasn't too hard to take out but remember the health on these fellas is much much higher, they also hit a lot harder so when you see one of these guys 
make sure you are ready for a battle because you're going to get one. So that's what I suggest you do. The options there for you to catch them. I do really think this is the way to go with these. The benefits to them and what they offer truly surpasses what you get for just taking them out. So yes, people, if you ever come across these ultra rare pals, do what you got to do and capture these things. I mean, I've got a couple of amazing pals already. If I see a shiny variant for them, I'm going to do everything I can in my power to catch that thing. But there we have it, guys. Everything you need to know about is ultra rare. What are the rarest creatures in this game? Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.